Hey there, welcome to another radio video and this is another one in the series of tuning the shortwave band 1 MHz at a time. This video is about 25 MHz. What can we hear from 25 to 26 MHz? Uh, first of all, propagation characteristics of 25 MHz is pretty close to the eye edge of the band. That's mostly a daytime band sunrise to sunset better in the winter than in the summer in general but exceptions apply you can hear signals almost any time on that band uh, you can have sporadic e-skip which will enhance propagation in the evening or during the night that can actually make this megahertz alive with signals what do we have in the 25 meter band a uh, 25 meter band sorry 25 megahertz uh, basically the first part of 25 megahertz is mostly utility signals uh, and somewhere in there there's some out of band CBRs I've noticed that a few out of band CBRs are going down to 25 megahertz but they're exceptional I mean I don't hear out of band CBRs on 25 megahertz that often they usually are more in the 26 or 27 megahertz so uh, basically it's mostly utility signals for the first part so I'll tune in I'll put in upper assignment and see what we can hear It's usually a quiet megahertz, I would say. Then you come to a transition. There's a part of the spectrum of 25 megahertz that I believe, if I remember well, starts at 25.700 and goes to 26 out 100 this is what's called the 11 meter band shortwave international shortwave band now this is not really used much especially when solar activity is not very high it doesn't propagate that well um, it's basically almost unused now. Uh, I've been seen a station in 25 megahertz for uh, f uh, for a while, and um, but it doesn't mean that there won't be in the future. But um, I would say the chances are less and less um, there that you'll hear something on uh, this international broadcast band. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> But one thing that is actually happening is that slowly some European countries have actually converted this band more into local DRM stations. So you might hear those new uh, digital Radio Mondial signals. Um, so if you have that capability, you'll be able to uh, hear stations, especially in Europe. But when propagation is right, and that's the beauty of shortwave, who knows uh, how far they can go and you can even listen to them probably here in North America. So this start of the international, the 11 meter international broadcast band. I don't expect to hear much here. Except here, starting 25.8785, you might want to try FM mode and try those studio to transmitter links for example here there is a FM signal it just doesn't have any modulation but this is a studio to transmitter link transmitter link that I hear often uh, from Texas so they don't seem to be modulated at the time but 
these are basically pretty much FM signals. Uh, they just aren't modulating any audio. You can hear these uh, studio to transmitter links. Often what happens is the transmitter and the studios are several miles apart and they will put this little transmitter that will send the audio programming from the station to the transmitter where it be processed and transmitted locally but that little transmitter often not very strong when propagation is good actually can propagate and be heard worldwide basically on FM mode one of the very popular that I used to hear um, back in the, maybe 10 years ago was on 25870 which was uh, WFLA basically in uh, WFLA was in Florida, Tampa Bay, Florida and I could hear it almost every day especially with their uh, Rush Limbaugh show I remember back then so this is basically what you can hear on the 25 megahertz band it's a mishmash of all sorts of signals from utility signals at the bottom the 25 megahertz to the international broadcast band the 11 meters that's in AM mode usually uh, in Europe lots of DRM signals could pop up there so uh, that could be an interesting lesson and of course the higher end of the 25 megahertz band has lots of FM uh, studio to transmitter links so it's a good idea to take a listen there in FM mode and see if you hear anything uh, especially in the daytime but like I said try any time of day you'll never know what you can hear so uh, thanks for watching hope you enjoyed these videos and uh, we'll continue on with other uh, megahertz so uh, basically take a look at our channel we'll have the full coverage megahertz by megahertz from 3 to 30 megahertz so Thanks for watching, 73s.